In this video, we're going to focus on multiplication and other bases using the intermediate and standard algorithms. In any base, it's really useful to have a knowledge of the times table and uh, something I'll call powers of 10. So the times table, for example, in base 5, I look at 3 times 3. 3 times 3 would be 9, but 9 in base 5 is going to be 1, 5, and 4, 1's. And that's why 3 times 3 in base 5 is 14. Powers of 10 are also useful in when multiplying in other bases. Powers of 10 are sort of building upon what you know in base, in base 10. So for example, if I have um, 2 times 10, well that's 20. How about 20 times 10? Well that's going to be 2 times 1 plus 2 zeros is 200. Um, how about if I do something like this? 6 times 3. Well, that's 18. 6 times 30. Well, that's going to be 6 times 3 is 18 plus a 0, 180. So you can use this same idea about multiplying powers of 10 in other bases. So for example, in base 5, I've got that 2 times 2 is 4. It's in true in base 5, true in base 10. So t in base 5, 2 times 2 equals 4. But 2 times 20 in base 10 would equal 40. 2 times 2 and then add a 0. How about 20 times, say, 30 in base 4? Well, 2 times 3 is 11. And then I've got two zeros, so that would be 1100, all in base 5. Okay, so all these are base 5s. So using powers of 10 are often very helpful as well. So let's go to a couple multiplication problems, and uh, let's do these in base 8. So we're going to do this using the intermediate algorithm on the left and the standard algorithm on the right. All right, so I'll list out the intermediate algorithm. Remember, you sort of keep track of all the things you're multiplying. 5 times 5 in base 8, that's going to be 3 eighths with 1 left over. That's 5 base 8 times 5 base 8, and all this is in base 8. I won't write it necessarily, but you know it's in base 8. 5 times 4, okay, 5 times 4 in base 8 is are 2 8s and 4 left over, so essentially 24, but this is 5 times 40. So that would be, in base 8, 240, which is 5 times 40 in base 8. 3 times 5, well 3 times 5 is going to be 15, okay, but 15 is going to be, so 15 would be, um, in base 8, would be 1 8 and 7 left over, so 17. But this is 30 times 5, so it's 170. Lastly, 3 times 4 in base 8 is 1, 8, and 4 left over. 3 times 4 is 12, so 1, 8, and 4 left, and four left over. So that would be 14. But in this is 30 times 40, so that's going to be 1,400. Now, just remember that I'm adding everything in base 8. So this is going to be 1, 0, all the zeros. So that's going to be 1 in base 8. In base 8, I've got 3 and 4 is 7, and 7 makes 14. 14 is 1, 8, with 6 left over. 1 and 2 makes 3. 3 and 1 makes uh, 4. 4 and 4 makes 8. 8 is 1, 8, with 0 left over. 1 and 1 makes 2. So that is the intermediate algorithm. You list each of these each of these sort of products that you're finding. This would be 30 times 5. That's how we got the 170, all in base 8. And then 40 times 30, or 30 times 40 for the last one, using powers of 10 there. Now, for the standard algorithm, we have to do a little more record keeping in our head. And I like to color code this. I'm going to say I'm going to do the multiplication of the ones digit and keep record in, in say, one color. Then for the tens digit, keep a record in a different color. So 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 is 3 eighths with 1 left over. So I'm 
I'm carrying in red. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 makes 23. 23 is 2 eighths with 7 left over. And we just bring down our 2. All right, now let's go to a different color and we'll multiply our 10s. So 3 times 5, well, first of all, I'd, I'd say I've got 30. I know this is not 3 times 5, but 30 times 5. So I'm going to write a 0 there. So 3 times 5 is 15. 15 is 1 8 with 7 left over. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, 12 is, uh, so 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 13 would be 1 8 with 5 left over. And then we just bring down our 1. Now let's add those up knowing that you're adding in base 8. So 1 plus 0 is 1. Uh, 1 plus, uh, let's see, 7 plus 7 is 14. In base 8, that is 1, uh, 8, and 6 left over. 1 and 2 is 3, and 5 makes 8. Okay, 8 is 1, 8 with 0 left over, and 1 and 1 makes 2 in base 8. So using the intermediate or standard algorithm, the product of 45 base 8 and 35 base 8 is 2,061 base 8. Let's do one more that's a little bit more complicated because it involves hundreds. And I would do this again using the intermediate, I will do it again, using the intermediate algorithm on the left and the standard algorithm on the right. Okay, using the intermediate algorithm and powers of 10, 3 times 2, and we're in base 4 in this case, so 3 times 2 base 4, that is 6, 6 is 1, 4, and 2 left over. So that is 2 times 3. Uh, 2 times 2, base 4 is, is, 2 times 2 is 4, that is 1, 4, and 0 left over, which is 10, but this is 2 times 20, so we're going to use that powers of 10. That's going to be 100. That's 2 times 20. 2 times 3, or you've already said, is 12 in base 10. But this is not 12, this is not 2 times 3, this is 2 times 300. So we'll take the 12 and add two zeros. That is 2 times 300, using powers of 10. Now let's go to the 30. So it's 3 is a 3 is not just 3, it's a 30. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 is 2, so 9 is 2 fours and one left over. So 9 is 20, so 3 times 3 would be 21 in base 4. But this is 3 times 30. So that's going to be 210. Not 21, but 210. That is 30 times 3. 3 times 2, we've already said is 12. But this is not 3 times 2. This is 30 times 20. So that's going to be 3 times 2 is 12, add two zeros. So 1,200, which is 30 times 20. And lastly, 3 times 3, which we've already said is 21. But this is not, this is not, this is 21. So 3 times 3 is 21 in base 4. But this is, this is 30 times 300. So I would add three zeros. So that's going to be 221,000 in base 4, which is 30 times 300. All right, now let's remember we're adding in base 4. So 2 is all the way down. It's just 2, base 4. 1 and 1 makes 2, so that's good. Okay, here we've got 1 and we've got 2 and 2 and 2 is 6 and 7. So 7 is going to be... 1, 4 with 3 left over. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 1, 4 with 0 left over. 1 and 2 makes 3. All right, so 323 base 4 times 32 base 4 is 30,322 base 4. Let's finish this up with one last look doing this with the standard algorithm. And again, this is 
I find it a little more difficult because you have to sort of keep record of things in your head. Again, I'll do it in different colors. Do the 2 first. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is 1, 4 with 2 left over. Um, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 makes 5. 5 is 1, 4 with 1 left over. 2 times 2, 2 times 3 rather, is still 6, uh, plus 1 is 7. 7 is going to be 1, 4 with 3 left over, and I'll bring down my 1. Now I'm going to go to a different color for the tens, and for this, remember to, it's a tens, so I'm going to put a zero there. Just like we, we in the standard algorithm, you just leave a blank, but it's really a zero there. So I'm going to carry in pink. Three times three is nine. Nine is two fours with one left over. All right. Three times two is six. Plus two makes eight. That is zero fours. Or it's me two fours rather, and and zero left over. Three times three is nine. Plus two makes eleven. Eleven is two fours with three left over, and I'd bring down my two. Now just remember that you're adding in base 4. These are base 4 numbers. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 plus 0 is 3. 1 and 3 is 4. 4 is 1, 4 with 0 left over. And 1 and 2 makes 3. So again, 323 base 4 times 32 base 4 using the standard algorithm is 30,322 base 4.